Let's begin with playback mode. Start the beat by pressing run. We can change the sequence in real time with the beat knob. Or change banks with the bank knob. We can also use the switches to navigate between the beats within the selected bank, moving forward or back. While in this mode, when we switch beats, the change occurs at the end of the measure. We can rearrange our beats using the copy and paste functions. To do this, we choose the beat that we want to copy. For example, B3 from Bank C. We copy the beat by pressing and holding Control and Prog. The LED will begin to blink, indicating that we have copied and are ready to paste. We choose the location where we want to save it. For example, 4C. With the same combination of Control and Prog, we paste it in its new location. Now we have the same beat in two different places, and we can edit them independently. By copying the same beat to several positions, we can then create variants along the way, which allows for a progressive workflow and the arrangement of your performances. If we need to abort the copy function, we simply tap the prog button. In addition to the playback mode, the beat has two alternative performance modes. With the pedal unplugged, hold down control and then plug it in. Now the pedal is in mashup mode. Let's check out a beat. In this mode, switching between beats will not occur at the end of the bar. They happen instantly. In fact, the new beat will pick up on rhythm so that beats can be combined, generating variations in real time. In this mode, the switches serve a different purpose. Instead of navigating between beats, we can re-trigger our beats by pressing and holding control and run. By doing this, we can generate syncopations, or irregular changes. By pressing Ctrl along with the navigation knobs, we can switch and re-trigger the beats. Now we can flow between the beats, creating variations in our performance, making the beat a whole new instrument. Let's explore joystick mode. With the pedal unplugged, press and hold Run and plug in the pedal. We are now in joystick mode. We choose a sound with the inst knob. We can play this instrument by tapping the left switch. The div knob now mirrors the inst knob, allowing us to select the instrument we will play with the right switch. In this mode, we can also change the pitch of our sounds. We select the rim shot. We press and hold control, and now this knob enables us to modify the pitch while the alias remains the same. We assign the rim shot to the right switch. Now let's choose the bass drum and drop the pitch a bit. This mode allows us to play the different instruments in real time. 